Hey, you guys, I wanted to make sure I got this video out right now, early in the new year. I had a couple thoughts on Meg the Stallion and how I feel about how she is being portrayed in the public as far as handling her career. And I'm going to try to break this down as much as possible because there's definitely a lot to get into. Hit that like button, subscribe, and share. We are trying to hit a 1,000 subs. So let me just rewind the tape. Last year, I thought Megan would have definitely had a huge, huge breakout year had it not been for the coronavirus. However, because of that virus, you know, I know that that probably put a lot of gigs off to the side. I know she did drop singles with, you know, WAP being one of the biggest ones. You know, she also did, you know, Savage and everything else. She got nominated for awards. And, you know, she's making waves in the industry. But I think, and I think a lot of people have been doing this, is when you pit rappers against rappers, especially when it's a female rapper, and people can just take or target one or two things. I mean, over the last few days, it's been like, oh, Nikki unfollows uh, Meg The Stallion. And, you know, but Nikki unfollowed several hundred other people. But the video specific, videos are specifically targeting Meg, which is not fair. And, um, you know, baby girl gonna do what she wants. She a grown woman. Um, I think that that lack of support with both of her parents passing away, who I think really were her primary support system, were her parents. I think that some of the stuff that has happened to her, if her parents were around, I think that things would have been handled a lot more cautiously. However, she's being faced with you know, trying to get her name out there, focus on her career, focus on her music with no real support. And it just seemed like everybody around her, from her hairstylist down to her friends, are just coming out and speaking out against her for whatever reason or the other. Quite frankly, I'm not going to speculate on here. However, I will say that this is what she needs to do in my opinion in order to keep up and be there and just you know come into 2021 strong you know first I will say I liked her album I thought it was kind of cute it had a couple of hits on it I actually liked you know some I didn't but I liked it for the most part um in my own opinion I think she needs to like really fall back a little bit I think at this point I think the twerking might end up getting old. The lady parts might get old. I mean, you just don't want to oversell every single thing you got. I think, in my own opinion, she really needs to have or hire or whatever she needs to do. She needs to have somebody in her corner, be it a family member or someone, that ain't there to be self-promoted using her handles. That are not there to just meet up with celebrities. Basically, she needs somebody to keep her grounded. I really think that's one thing she's missing. When that Tory situation um, sprang last summer, I thought it was vitriol the way she was being treated in the media. If anyone else had went through that experience, I think that the media would have been dragging Tori back to Canada and the cops. However, she went through it, and it was like, you know, she literally had to come out and show her stitched-up foot in order for people to even believe that it happened. So, again, the haters is going to hate. But then, you know, as she kept speaking out, and I did make a previous video about this, she does not need to speak out on every single thing. Sometimes you just need to let it go. 
let it go, get off your social media page, maybe concentrate on, I don't know, taking that energy and putting it into your music, you know, pull a Taylor Swift, you having a bad day, write it down and make it into a hit song. I think she needs to refocus that. I think she need to get some of these people out of her ear. You know, not only was it like a huge controversy, which I found to be silly, that Nikki unfollowed her. But then, you know, her album didn't do so well with the numbers. I thought it was okay. Um, then, you know, her and Kelsey fell out and Kelsey made a single. Um, you know, I thought it was a little self-serving that Kelsey did that, but to each his own. We don't know about everything going on behind closed doors. Then it's like, you know, she stays on social media responding. Now, I definitely want to touch on this because in my opinion for 2021, Megan, just stop responding. Just stop. Focus on the positive parts of what you're trying to do. And everything else, just keep hitting the block button. Keep hitting the block button. Keep hitting the block button. All people want to do is keep getting in your ear in a negative way. The next thing, honestly, I really think that she needs to roll around with maybe a smaller crew than what she using. I think that she really just needs to go forward and concentrate more on herself. Because obviously, between her friends and stylists or whoever else, for some reason, all these beefs and stuff keep happening. For 2021, in my opinion, I'm hoping that Meg will be like, you know what? You want to slide around and say something silly? Go ahead and do it. I'm not even going to entertain it at all. Because people are literally feeding off of this publicity, hoping that she fails in this new year. Now, I'm making this just because I really felt over like the last six months, I thought the Tory situation would have been it. Because I thought that was a really big story. And I really thought that her record label or whoever else is around her would have been like, you know what? The stuff with Tori is starting to, you know, kind of, I'm not going to say ruin her rep, but kind of take the mystique out of, you know, her music. Basically trying to tear her down. And then, you know, she kept responding. And then Kelsey needed to respond. And then, you know, it was this big blow up with all the rappers over, you know, Last few days with them going back and forth because Asian Doll was cut off her record. Which I don't even know if Megan actually had something to do with that. Or if they was like in a final editing. It's like, okay, we need to cut this down for X, Y, Z reason. You know, again, that was handled in the front of the media. So I think in order for Megan to just get through 2021... Refocus that positive energy. Your circles need to be as small as possible. You need to rely on maybe no more than one or two people, even knowing your business, knowing where you at, what you're doing, anything else. Slow down on social media and concentrate on your music. Stop responding to all these negative haters out here, girl. This is a lot. Now... Of course, when you get big, people are going to try to knock down your platform. When you start making moves, everybody want to have a finger in your income. What I'm really hoping for is I really want Meg to win in this situation. I really want her to win because I really believe in her music. I think it's fun, it's entertaining, it's different. She's definitely, definitely talented. Definitely talented. And of all the rappers I've been hearing lately, as far as female rappers, you know, the only one I really feel like I'm really into 
and have been into is Meg. I will definitely play her videos. I love her hairstyles. You know, I just, I like her vibe. So tell me what you guys think. How can Megan keep from failing in 2021? What do you guys think she needs to do? If she keep getting in these beefs, if she keep getting implicated in these beefs, I think it might be her downfall. I think people might get tired of her. And I don't even think most of it is her fault. So tell me what you guys think. I know this is going to be a hot topic. Like, share, subscribe. Let's get that viewer count up. Be safe, you guys. Until next time, I'll talk to you. Bye.